So, one, two, three, four. That's what we did at the beginning. And all we did was you change it to one, two, a little down so we can do together, side, together. We add a little bit of that little teapot. And of course, the down, it almost, actually, I was thinking about it. I told totally a couple of guys. To me, what the, the down does, it prevents her from doing that. That's why Step I think about away. like a little pose. Boom. That way she goes together. One, two, down, together, side, together. One, two, down, together, side, together. All right. I think that one picked up pretty good. Yes. And the last, next one was just that walking turn. One, two, three, bigger step. So it's easier for her to get on this side, on that step five. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, bigger step. Five, six, seven, eight. We also talk about, again, for the leaders, you do the bigger step, but make sure that that bigger step is more into our standing line. Because even if you do a bigger step and you stay into your standing line, I'm going to have the space to go. And now we're on the wrong side for this movement. There. So she steps there. And, and then at the end, we kind of talked a little bit of that, a little, that kind of almost that little pose type motion where you do a little down together. So when we do that walking turn, three, four, five, six, a little down. But again, it's just a small little motion just so that way. Bump, bump. Again, we didn't do a fast milonga here, yeah. but we did it today because we wanted to do it with milongas that, that really travel, that move. Good. We are done. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so